God, I was so scared. I was terrified. I was willing to do feet pictures online, illicit drug deals, whatever I needed to do to make sure that my family stayed safe. Hi, my name is Coach Bruce, and I'm a life coach for ADHD parents. And back in around 2013, I had no idea what I was going to do. I had two kids already, and a third was on the way, and I did not make near enough money. I had over $20,000 of debt sitting on the books from my first run at college, which failed. And I was working at a restaurant as an expediter and a part time restaurant manager. I was doing okay. On the books, it looked like I was making like $20,000 a year. And off the books, I was probably making closer to 40 with tips and all that junk. But that was not nearly enough to keep a roof over the head of me and three children and a wife and keep everybody fed and pay off the debt that I had coming. I was just flat out terrified. So under the pressure of my father, who was a retired firefighter, and my cousin, who was a current firefighter, and a couple of other people who told me that this was the move. This was the only option I had, having come out of college early because I was a fuck up, and having no real skills to offer, the fire department was the only place to go. I'd already tried for the military, but I was too fat at the time, and they said, nope, we will not take you. And I honestly had no idea. I'd been applying for restaurant manager jobs, which would put me solidly at $40,000, and I was not getting any bites. They could smell my desperation. So I decided to do this fire department thing out of just straight fear. There was no excitement. There was no motivation. There was no drive or compulsion to do good works. I later on told myself that that's why I was in this, because I wanted to help people. The only reason I started this job is because I wanted to help my fucking self. I wanted to help my family. I wanted to make sure people were able to eat, and I wasn't a failure as a father. I then went on to make this fire department thing my identity because I didn't know who I was. I had no idea what I wanted for life. I had let people make decisions for me pretty much since I was old enough to say yes. And from there, I found myself in a situation where I was finally making enough money. I, you know, I went from making like maybe almost $40,000 to making over $100,000 a year. Just me. That's what I was bringing in. I was providing. I was doing everything that I was supposed to do in my mind to be happy. Yet I was the most miserable I've ever been. Because I made a decision based off of how I felt. I was scared. I let that fear drive me into a situation that solved the fear momentarily, but did nothing to provide long-term viability for my life. And because I didn't know what I wanted, I didn't even know how to do that. And I found myself just falling through the abyss with nothing to grab onto, doing everything I could to find good feelings, drugs, online flirtation with women, porn. Whatever felt good, because that's all I knew how to do, is run away from what felt bad and do what felt good. That's all I'd lived for the 30, 35 years of my life at that point. And then finally, the way I was behaving caught up with the reality of the lie that I was living. And I was found out. My lies were exposed. The fear-based decision-making I'd been making had come out the truth. I'd been found out. I'd had an online affair and my wife found out about it. And I was forced with a choice. Figure your shit out or be alone. Period. I had to unpack everything. I had to put it all out. I had to tell the fucking truth for the first time in my entire life. I had to really tell the truth. Not just to my wife, 
who deserved every bit of truth that she that she wanted. But I also had to tell the truth to myself. I'd been lying so long about why I was doing what I was doing, about the position I was in with the fire department, about the harmless flirtations online, about the about the porn being just a, a you know a phase that was momentary, just all these lies, and I believed them. I told myself things, and I honestly fully committed to the lie so deeply that I believed it. The worst lie of all I told myself is that I was okay. I'm fine. Everything's good. How you doing, Bruce? Great. Another day in paradise. Bullshit. You are fucking scared. But I just kept lying and I kept swallowing it until eventually it came crashing down upon me and I was forced to figure my shit out for real. And when I looked at it, whenever I pulled all the lies away, I realized I was just scared and alone and I had nothing looking like nothing compelling me to be alive. I had people who depended on me and I loved them, but I didn't even know what I was supposed to be to them. I didn't know what it meant to be a husband. I didn't know what it meant to be a father. I just knew that I just kept showing up and making money and that it was okay so far. But it wasn't. That's not what it means to be the leader of a home. That is not what it means to be a father. That is not what it means to be an example of what it's supposed to be like as an adult on this planet. So I'm honestly thankful that I was caught because I had to face the lies I was telling myself. I had to realize that I was not okay in the life I was living. I had no direction and I had no vision. And because of that, I was just flailing. I was flailing and I had no idea where I was going. And so now, through a lot of deep self-work and introspection, I've learned that it's okay to be scared. That was the first mistake I made is that I wanted to hide my fear. I wanted to hide the fact that I didn't feel like I was enough. I wanted to hide it all. And the truth is, those feelings are important. Those feelings of not being enough, those feelings of fear and doubt are important if they are compelling you to a future that is better. But first you have to get real. You have to stop hiding from the lies that you're living in. You have to start feeling that fear and understanding why you don't want to be in it. And not just stepping out of it and brushing it under the rug. You, how you want to actually transform yourself to no longer be afraid because the life is better. So that fear has propelled me to do the work on myself, to figure out what is important to me, to figure out who I want to be and where I want to go. And then in that, I was able to say, as this person, this better version of myself, I can actually lead my family. Whenever I have a direction, they actually trust me to lead them. Without that, they had no, they had no trust in me to follow me because I didn't know where I was going. Understanding that it matters where you want to go was the biggest revelation that I've had in the past two years. Understanding that my clarity of vision determines my ability to lead is my gift to you. If you know where you want to go, you have determined it and you are committed to it, your ability to lead increases tenfold period, just by making the decision. The confidence that comes with clarity is so powerful. But if you are still on the fence, if you still haven't made a decision about what you want, if you're still trying to serve all these different masters and it's all about how you feel, you will do fuck all as a leader, period. You have to get out of the land of maybe and start living in the world of yes and no. That is where the power lies. Yes, I want this for my family. No, I don't want that for my children. Yes, I want that for myself. No, that is not what is right for my family. 
Do you hear the difference? I mean, I guess maybe that could work out. I, I don't know. Maybe like, let, let's, let's see. Would you follow that guy? I'm glad my family didn't follow me that way because now I'm in a situation of power. I am in a situation of authority where now I know where I'm going. And all I had to do was open the doors. Everybody jumped right in because they were like, that's who we want to follow. We want him to drive. That's it for today. Make your decisions. Stop living in the land of maybe and commit to something better for your family. And go take the aimless life assessment because if you watch this far, you need help and I can do that for you.